I was pretty confident that one went in. I wasn't. I don't think I was going to let him take it back. That's oh. se second period had gone wrong in Boston. What? How much confidence do you guys have coming? Oh, into it the way you played. Yeah, I think uh, we came out and uh, just played a simple game. And uh, after Skin scored that first one there in the second, it just seemed like pucks are going in for us, and it was a really good second period and felt good to uh, get rolling there. I think it needs so much in transition. It seemed like you had a lot of chances in transition. Yeah, I think uh, just coming across and helping support for the D and, and Oki and Larry, and they did a good job finding me, and I think they did a good job uh, playing really fast in neutral zone, and it helped out a lot. Skinner and Eichel have provided a lot of goals for this team, obviously, this year. But, but when you got that goal in the second, it seemed like you got everybody going. I mean, what did you see out there after you uh, got the goal? You know, I <laughs> I don't know. I, after yeah, after the skin score, I think... Uh, then we got, just kept rolling, I scored, and then we got a couple other other big goals, and I was excited for Larry, too, to get his first one. How impressive is it? 14 different players got points in one period. Have you ever been a part of that before? <laughs> I couldn't tell you. I don't know, but uh, it felt good, and a lot, of, a lot of things were going going well for us in the second, and a lot of pucks were going in, like I said, and uh, that one felt really good. Did you feel close? I mean, in the first period, it looked like you, tonight would be maybe be the night. Did you feel like you were just flying? Yeah, I think I, I hit the post there, that first shift of the game, and uh, I think I got got a little more confident tonight, and Larry and uh, Lars and Oki were playing really well, and I think we were playing really well as a line. It's just finally a matter of time, and it went in. felt really good. A relief, I mean, uh, forgive me if you asked this before, uh, answered this before. Is it just a relief to get that first one out of the way? You had your point your first game, but that first goal. Uh, it was just it was really kind of an indescribable moment more than anything. Uh, Obviously, you work your whole life to make it to the NHL, and you get that first one, and it was pretty exciting. This has been a long journey since you played those first games here a couple of years ago. I, do, I mean, do you have any time to just reflect on that? Does that all pop up on you? Yeah, um, I worked really hard to get back back here in, in Buffalo, and uh, I think I had a good season in Roch last year uh, with a, a little injury that hurt me along the way. But you know what? you got to stay positive and keep working. And I uh, came out to a hot start in Roch this year when we were playing well. And uh, I was excited to get the call up and get that first goal. There's so much talk about the need for secondary scoring, you know, for the last month or so. What type of pressure does that put on you, or what did, type of pressure did you put on yourself? Um, yeah, you want to score and help out contribute to the t help out the team on the scoreboard. But uh, you also want to find other ways to help the team win. And, uh, Sometimes it's not always about scoring, and if you can do uh, other things in different areas well and help the team win, that's pretty important to me as well. That goal just as you dreamed it would be? <laughs> <laughs> Dribbling oh, in. Trickler in. Uh, yeah, maybe not the way you wrote it up, but uh, still went in. Goal's a goal, and uh, I'll take it. Your thoughts about staying up here with these guys? Yeah, got to do whatever I can. Uh, like I said, to help contribute to the team, help them win. Uh, like I said, sometimes that, some nights that might not be scoring, but uh, just got to do whatever I can to stay up, and that's my goal for the rest of the year.